Now that Christmas is over, it's time to take down the decorations and, of course, the Christmas tree. The holiday is over for almost everyone except local goats, whose holiday begins today. Western Mass News reporter Lindsay Kane explains. <laughs> Goat Christmas starts today. Christmas has come and gone, and some people across Western Mass will start getting rid of their Christmas trees starting Thursday. But instead of dumping them in the trash, there's a particular group who will take them off your hands. Any trees that are not from big box stores, um, local tree farms, anything like that, um, the goats love to eat them. Um, anything without tinsel, nothing that can hurt them. The more organic, the better for the goats. Owner of Starry Brook Farm, Christine Hood, tells Western Mass News this time of year the goats normally eat hay and grain, so the Christmas trees are a special treat. They love it. They absolutely love it. It's the highlight of their year. Last year, over 200 Christmas trees were donated to the farm. The goats eating every last bit, of course. There was days when I'd drag five or six trees in and they'd all be done with them. It's very good for them. Yep, and it gives them really nice breath. And when the goats finish their big post-Christmas feast, the remains of the trees are given back to the community for yard decor. They kind of strip the bark off, so when it's done, it almost looks like um, like driftwood, sort of. Yeah, it's it's pretty neat. And they make really, really neat garden decorations when they're done. So last year I put a few out next to the road and um, just to put them out there to see if anyone wanted them. And people came by and grabbed them. So we'll be doing that again this year, too. Hood says the donations really start to pick up around New Year's, but she is thankful for every person who stops by with a tree from now until then. I appreciate everyone who brings their tree to us because it's it's great for the goats, it adds to their diet, and it's just, it's a really nice thing for people to do to go out of their way to bring them here. Christine Hood says if you can't make the trip to Starry Brook Farm in Munson, there are plenty of other local farms that you can donate your Christmas trees to. In Munson, Lindsay Kane, Western Mass News.